not using Whitney's voice in this, that an America's Next Top Model contestant is playing Whitney. And then there's Whitney's daughter, Bobby Christina. She's mad. Yeah, I mean, she's blasting the film's director, Angela Bassett. Bobby Christina wanted to play her mother in the film. She did. We talked about all of it. And you are going to hear it. The Whitney Houston movie, Make It News. That is Entertainment Tonight's top story. actress Yaya DaCosta, but Whitney's daughter is fuming because Angela, who's making her directing debut, didn't cast her to play her mother. I respect anyone's feelings and truths, so, I mean, I can understand it. I can understand it. She adores her mother, and in this process, I lost my mother, so I get it. And I love Bobby Christina. Well, it seems Bobby Christina doesn't feel the same way. A tweet from an account with her name read, Ha, Ms. Edge, Basket Case has such a damn nerve. And it goes on to say something really nasty about Bassett. We're not going to repeat it. Anything you want done, baby. Bobby Christina didn't appear to agree with Bassett's choice of top model runner-up Yaya tweeting, quote, When I win my first Grammy or Oscar, I'll be sure to shout your name out, bitch. Ouch. Those tweets were later deleted. Her rep tells us today Bobby Christina has no comment on the movie. With something like this, there's going to be a lot of talk and some controversy. Oh, yeah. With great opportunity, there will be criticism. Yeah. So, you, you know, you, you learn to expect that. Yeah. Um, but what you don't need is to be going out looking for, you know, yeah. you know naysayers. Yeah. You, you have a job to do. Angela and Whitney were friendly. E.T. was with them on the set of Waiting to Exhale. To work with someone, um, an African-American actress who really knows her stuff yeah. was just, you know, definitely intriguing. Other members of Houston's family are upset that the movie is being made. And then there's the issue of Whitney's real voice not being used. Yaya lip syncs to vocals done by singer Deborah Cox. from any of the family about it? No. What would you say to them? It's, it's, it's complicated. And I understand it's complicated. The movie airs next year on Lifetime, and the producer told me they weren't using Whitney's recordings because their story is more about her live performances. Yaya has tried to tune it all out. I kind of shut off all social media because I, I didn't want to be distracted by the you know, the expectations, you know, the naysayers. The original king of R&B, my husband, Mr. Bobby Brown! Bobby Brown is being played by Arlen Escarpeta, but so far, no reaction from Bobby himself. I have to say, I was feeling it. The music, the vibe, the whole energy, um, and when Deborah Cox sang, I was really impressed. Oh, she had a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. I think it's going to be really special. And we actually just heard from Whitney's mother, Sissy, and she said in an exclusive statement to us that the family objects to the film, saying, quote, no one connected with this movie knew Whitney or anything about her relationship with Bobby, and she goes on to say, please, please let her rest. So she's not happy. No, she's not. And I just know being on set with Angela and with everybody there, trying to treat it with respect. They don't even address Whitney's death. It doesn't go that far, but they're trying to treat it with dignity and to honor Whitney. Uh, another music legend, James Brown, he has a